Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. So uh, in Buddhism everything and Zen, everything is about suffering and taking away suffering. It isn't about anything else. It isn't a theory of life. It isn't um, a way to get a better job or meet a better person. It's about suffering and taking away suffering. So when the Buddha was a young man, one time he escaped his good situation. He was born in a palace and everything was great. Had plenty of women, plenty of really good stuff to drink. He had everything good. And then he snuck out one day and he saw something. He saw an old person. He saw a sick person. And he saw a dead person. Now, he'd heard about them before, certainly. At least he'd read about them. But then he actually saw them. So what that means is he uh, uh, encounters suffering directly. And then in his mind appears this great question. It's a question that we all have somewhere hiding, maybe in the back of your brain somewhere is, what am I? So when you look at all the religious stuff you encounter, all the philosophical stuff, all the practical stuff, all the fun things you do, all the friends you have, all the dances you know, and all the songs you can hum, back behind there is, wait, this is going to go away. And you don't know when it's going to go away, right? Right? It could easily be that I don't finish this sentence. I just fall over dead. And it could be that you don't finish hearing this sentence because you fall over dead. But usually we're just cruising down the road thinking, oh, this is great. Or maybe we're cruising down the road thinking, oh, this is horrible. But we're cruising down the road. So what the Buddha's teaching wants to do is kind of wake you up to the way things really are. And that's brought about by asking this great question of life and death. And that is, what are you? What are you really? So everybody here identifies with something. Maybe you identify with a a religion, or maybe you identify with a family, or a country, or a something. But if you look closely, you'll notice that will go away. So that's the meaning behind old age, sickness, and death. We call it impermanence. We also call it emptiness. You know, there's no self-existing eternal thing. So everything's always coming, going, coming, going, coming, going, coming, going. So um, human beings have been thinking about themselves as being around for about, what, 15,000 years maybe at the most? And what did we get? So, back behind this encounter with this emptiness, old age, sickness, and death, emptiness is a little too abstract a word. Old age, sickness, and death are not abstract. Right? They're eating at your very guts. And soon, boom, you're gone. So what are you? So that's the question that the Buddha had. That's also the question we have. There's nothing special about the Buddha except his great vow to find his true self and help the world, right? And that doesn't come to him all at once, right? It says in the temple rules he sat for six years, right? So we're going to start sitting here for 90 days. Not bad. That 90 days is made up of moment by moment by moment by moment. Buddha's six years is also made up by moment by moment by moment by moment. Bodhidharma's nine years is moment by moment by moment. The sixth patriarch wakes up in just an instant, right? When he hears that line out of the Diamond Sutra. But that's just this moment, right? Then he spends the next six months grinding rice in the back room of the temple. (laughs) So 
what you have is this moment. So uh, whether you're, you think you're just starting or you've been sitting around here for the last 30 years, it doesn't make any difference. It's about waking up in this moment. You know, this is what we call moment world. So that's where we live, and that's where you can find your true self. So it's interesting, the Buddha sits for, sits for six years, right? And then uh, one morning he's sitting underneath the tree, and he looks up and he sees the morning star, which is actually a planet. And boom, his mind opens. He realizes what we really are. But then he just keeps sitting there, which is kind of ridiculous, actually, when you think about it. But he's the Buddha, right? So we give him a break. But there was a god up in heaven, Chakra, who floats down from heaven and comes down and says, you can't just keep sitting here. You have to get up and help the world and its suffering. Well, the Buddha didn't say anything, but he already realized that what this god said is true. So then the god realizes that too, bows and floats back up to heaven. So, of course, it's a made-up story, but it's interesting because what it means is uh, we sit with an intent. Right? So everything in Buddhism is about our vow, our great vow to save all beings from suffering. So Buddhism is about suffering and taking away suffering and hiding the in that is this great intent that the Buddha had to save all beings for suffering. So he was around about, what, 2,600 years ago, roughly? How's he doing? Jesus was here 2,000 years ago to save us from suffering, too. How's he doing? Right? <laughs> How are we doing? So that means we have, all have a big job. So back behind this big job is our vow. So human beings are, are beings of intention. Right? What separates us from all the other animals is this intention. We have the ability to intend things. So we can intend bad things, like I'll figure out some clever way to get your money or something. Or it can be this what we call great intention, which is our great vow to save all beings from suffering. So everything in Buddhism is about this uh, great vow. So when I thanked you for coming, at the beginning of my talk, I actually wasn't joking. I mean, it's incredible that people would come and do this. And it's all based on this great vow to save all beings from suffering. So when we come here, it's not a light intention. We're not coming here for fun or to groove on meditation. We're coming here just like the Buddha when he left home to sit underneath a tree. Fortunately, we have a little better uh, roof over our head, and probably the food's a little better, and definitely the clothes are better. But our intention is the same, because the problem is the same. Human suffering. That's why it's called the great vow of life and death. It affects everybody. Everywhere, all the time. So we have this big, big, big job, and that's why we come here. So thank you for coming. And the trick to doing this is just do it. It's just like the Nike shoe head says, just do it. Then you get it. Thinking, 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 all you get is a headache. You probably had a karma headache, right? <laughs> it's not so much fun most of the time. So do it, then you get it. Thank you for coming.